Yo, how's everyone doing? Welcome back for some more Forza Horizon 3. Today I'm sharing with you the Chevelle Super Sport Horizon Edition, and this car is only obtainable through the Valentine's Day Forzathon event, so if you miss this car, your only way of getting it will be through the auction house, and considering this is only a one-day event, it's probably going to be pretty expensive to get there, so I just want to talk about this car, share my opinions of it, and let you know if I think you should go spend money on it in the auction house if you do miss the car, and... The first thing I want to say, this gameplay right here is no indication of the launch. The launch is actually pretty good for this thing being rear wheel drive, but me going uphill here and the ground just wasn't level, I mean it was very tough to launch in this particular race, but the launch on this car is manageable. It's not perfect, it's not like it's all wheel drive at all, but it's manageable. You just have to feather the gas a little bit and it will get off the line pretty quickly, but the acceleration is very nice on this car and this thing's at the top of the A class. So the acceleration and the speed for this thing is actually very good. This thing can certainly pull in a straight line, and that's what it is. I mean, it's a classic muscle car, and it's supposed to be good in a straight line. Now, around bends, the handling is not amazing, but it's a lot better than I thought it would be. And the reason for that is you can kind of, like, drift around certain bends. Now, the really, really sharp bends, you just have to brake and slow down, and, you know, you're pretty much just going to have to do that. But around just kind of like, you know, your average bend, this thing can easily drift around the corners and it can sometimes turn if you slow down a little bit and angle your turns properly. You kind of have to anticipate your turns, but overall this thing's not bad to drive at all. Now the one thing is it does have a V8 swap and that's one thing I kind of don't like. I would have preferred to hear the stock car sounds. The V8 swaps and the V12 swaps, they just get very boring because you hear the same thing all the time and I don't know, the sound of this car is kind of just annoying to me. It just revs a lot and just the sound of it isn't that great, but the braking is good. It's not amazing, but it gets the job done, and as long as you know when to brake, you're gonna be fine. But I think the best feature that this car has is the skills boost attribute, and I forgot how this worked because it's been a very long time since I've driven a skills boost car, but every single skill that you have when you perform a drift or a wrecked skill, no matter what it is, you get some type of bonus, but it seems to be kind of random. Now, for each individual skill, it's consistent, but each different skill, you get a different bonus, it seems like, because sometimes I get like 140, sometimes I get like 190, and it's kind of random too. It's like 141, 196, so the bonus is definitely not 100% like it is for like a drift skills boost car, but it's somewhere between, it seems like, 30 and 50%, but it's really nice and that's balanced because you get a bonus for every skill though, no matter what. It's not just drift skills, or it's not just speed skills like some of the other Horizon editions, so this can make it really easy to get your skill chain. So if you're looking for skill points to save up, this car and other skill boost cars will be very, very good for that. But overall, I like the car, but I can't say I love the car. And in terms of buying it from the auction house, I would not spend a ton of money on this thing. I would maybe say like 500,000, 600,000, but after that, I would not spend much more money than that. And the thing is, you can probably find other skills boost cars that perform better than this thing in the auction for cheaper than that what this thing will be going for. So you want to keep that in mind. But this car is fun to drive. If you love classic muscle, you will certainly love this car. But I also feel like down the road, eventually, they're either going to add this car into wheel spins or they're going to have another Forzathon event to give people a second chance. We've seen them do that a lot. And for this car to only be available for literally one day, I just don't see that holding up, so I'd be patient. I would not spend a ton of credits, especially if you're low on credits. If you have, like, 50 million credits, then it really doesn't matter. Go ahead, buy the thing, buy three of them. But if you have the patience, I'm sure there will be a cheaper solution down the road. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something else for useful. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to y'all again very soon. Peace out.